Anthony, there, in my day, radio was boring all the time. And we like it that way. And tell that dirty Sanchez guy to take a bath. Hey, there's a lady out uh, outside the studio that wants to meet uh, Psycho Mark. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How many times did you hear that one? Oh, in the last I think, you know, month? Month. right when you said that, I'm like, wow, that sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we know how Psycho Mark treats uh, the female listeners, so we're going to tie him up in a chair. And <laughs> oh, don't even joke. Like oh, it's worth God. Stop. Uh, yeah, you can send in instant feedback. I've never seen more instant feedback in my life, by the way. A lot of people checking in. They all got their uh, opinions, much like a-holes. We're trying to print up as many as possible. Most of the stuff we have to ignore. And uh, I don't know what else to say. You know what's weird about everything that's going on? Yeah. Black Earl lost oh. his ass in He here. just lost his mind during commercials. Oh. He lost his effing mind. He came in, he grabbed our uh, big rolling cart that we used to carry the stuff from the office into the studio. It's full of uh, CDs and tapes and whatnot. And, and just grabbed it and started shaking it up and down. It looked like the old Samsonite commercial where... <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm just saying the way he was abusing the uh, piece of equipment. He yeah. ripped the thing out of the, the whole... He ripped the top part out of the car. He came Look, flying out. Everything it, it's all we, in disarray. I would love to know what he was actually so upset about. Why don't we get uh, Black Earl in here and see why he's so upset. I think we all know, but it's always fun when he tries to explain himself. <laughs> Got some rage. I'll tell you one thing about Earl, though. Yeah. He's like a cockroach during a, uh, a nuclear blast. You know, oh, yeah. You know how they say cockroaches and roaches would, would would survive a nuclear uh, fallout? Yeah. That's Earl. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I would love to know how many guys he has seen come through these doors. Yeah. Since oh, he started at WWE. Come, come and go. They come and go. Always a treat. Look who's in the studio. Uh, Black Earl. Earl? Yes. You were very upset during the commercials. And we didn't know what happened. All of a sudden you came in and I start hearing this banging and... and, and the, our, our machinery and everything being thrown around. And we Wait, all what, under, hell, what happened? We all understand why you would be upset, but uh, you want to express yourself live on the air today? Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. That's good. Sorry. No. Well, let, uh, let, no. <laughs> what happened? They didn't, they didn't pick up the uh, Black Rock Coalition show. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? That would get me mad. Sunday nights. Sunday nights. Now, what are they, uh, what, are the, what, what, what has you in a tizzy? We're all venting here. No, it's just everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, say something. What what got you to where you picked up the, the rack there and just started going crazy on it? What, like, just a little frustrated, that's all. Yeah, but there's got to be something. What are, what are the things? You're allowed to vent. Yeah, just the whole situation. <laughs> Could you be any more vague? <laughs> no, no, I'm, you know, just, this is how he keeps his job, though. You gotta, See? You right. should learn from Earl. You are so right. This is what we should do. We should learn from Earl. Okay. How, how could he possibly ever get fired if he doesn't, you know, say anything? <laughs> we always say something stupid that, you know, gets us almost fired. It's vague girl, Earl. It's, it's vague girl. girl. <laughs> All right, Earl. Uh, Come in. Give us a little more. All right. I, Without going into, I'm I'm frustrated for the same reason you're frustrated. Mm. All right, okay, that's good. Without, he's like a, the magic eight ball, <laughs> but not quite ready to commit. So, signs say Earl should write horoscopes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Avoid things like right. Hmm. So some of the same things we're upset about. Hey, there wasn't it. something that ticked you right before you picked that up and started going crazy on it? One thing? No. Not at all. Wow. <laughs> no? Hey, Earl, I got a question for you. Why don't, why don't you wear any ice? <laughs> <laughs> Where's some of your bling bling, Earl? You need some bling bling. You saw that on that TV, too? <laughs> I learned about uh, the black community. I, I love to learn about the black community. I had no idea that, that the brothers, it's, it, it's, a, it's a, a status symbol, Anthony, to have some bling bling. Where's your bling bling? No bling bling? No bling Because usually when people wear all black like you do, uh, the gold chains and the bling bling looks all good. I hear some I of the bling bling, also known as ice, 
yeah. can cost uh, upwards of a quarter million dollars for That's one true. piece that it hangs around your neck. I started a whole thing, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T. The bling bling. Mr. T had some bling bling Wait. bling. So where's your bling bling? No bling bling. None whatsoever? Mm. All right. Huh. What do you think of the bling bling? He's being I was, vague on that. I wouldn't so. pay a quarter of a million dollars for any bling bling. Earl Psychic Hotline. It's very vague. <laughs> Call me now. You be asking me what the problem is. You should be looking at yourself. <laughs> Call me now. Um, Earl, Earl. Black Earl's big psychic network. Earl, you feeling a little better now? Yeah. Would you like to turn that Sally the <laughs> effing slut masturbator? Uh, I'll pass. You sure? There we go. Oh, We need someone to try out Sally the effing slut masturbator. Phew. Earl, would you like to give it a try? No. It says F this bitch hard. F this bitch hard. It also uh -huh. says C in my mouth. You want to try it out, Earl? I'll, I'll I, I, don't, I don't know. F my, F my tight A. You sure? The one that he's big guy, not a your vague. ice cream guy. It, going. it even has instructions. Ram your big C here. <laughs> well, perhaps I might think about giving it somewhat of a try. So, Earl, you're just uh, bummed out about what's going on today. Yes. There you go. That was very good. You'll be bummed out. Call me now. What do you need? Back in his uh, little cubicle, he's got the incense burning and the smoke. <laughs> Call me, girl, psychic hotline. You ought to be keeping your eyes to yourself. <laughs> Call me now. <laughs> Man. All right. Well, we got absolutely no information out of Earl why he's pissed. He was pissed enough to pick that up and, and throw it around, yet he really can't convey to us what is pissing him off? But, Ant, we should learn from him. Man, while well, we're in that big meeting, if we acted like him, I think we'd be styling right now. Probably be VP or something. <laughs> Earl's going to work his way right up the corporate ladder. We'll Certainly call him not. Black Rock Earl. <laughs> for the big CBS uh, corporate building. <laughs> All right, Earl. It's good to see your face. Your man ain't no good. Girl, you got to get away from him. Earl, are you on? I'm looking. I see the teacup card. He's in prison, <laughs> is he? <laughs> Call me now. I hate that bitch. Earl, are you are you eyeing any of the uh, open offices? No. Okay. Mm. A lot of open offices today. We need... Uh, it's cheating on you, girl. We need, uh, we need Earl's cubicle out of the way so we can blow the uh, wall out. I got to tell you. You know what I got in the back of my SUV? Mm. Downstairs right now. A full-size foosball table. <laughs> I can't put it where I moved. The neighbors downstairs would go crazy. Whack, whack. But I, I want to set it up in our office or something, but now we need a bigger office. Set it up? I've been taking stuff out of our office. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Dude, why do you think it's still in the back of my truck and not brought upstairs? <laughs> I'm driving around every time I step on the brake, ten foosballs go clunk into the front of the thing. I take off and go clunk into the back. I want to bring it up, but I'm not sure I'll be loading it back in the freight elevator in a couple of days. Look at my drawers. There is nothing in my drawers. I'm seeing problems with your show. <laughs> Call me now. <laughs> <laughs> Earl, you don't have to worry, man. You will be here when radio is something that people receive directly in their head as they walk. The new tuner. They'll just be right in place in a chip in your head, and Earl will be, be here. <laughs> Earl, Earl will be old. And... Yeah. Let me tell you about the old days. <laughs> right. I'm going to tell you, they call me Black Earl. I remember when the when girl all black and out of a private area. That's right. <laughs> your hair will start going white. I gotta drive the big flying NEW bus. Cause we got flying cars now. Let me tell you about the old days. Well, we didn't have them flying cars. <laughs> big, tough, two big tufts of gray, white hair on the side of his head. Big tuft on his chin. Let me tell you about the old days. I used to drive the NEW when we drove on the street. Now they got the flying cars and I'm still hitting crap. Hey, Earl. <laughs> when Ant and I are, are, long, are long gone, will you be telling stories about us? I'm telling all that you guys know. I remember our year was, what, 1990. <laughs> Let me tell you, back in our 1900. <laughs> Shut up, boy, I'm talking. <laughs> I still can't understand why I was so mad. It was something to do with somewhat of a situation I can't really <laughs> talk about. That's why I'm still him. <laughs> Flying cars, and I'm still late to sticker stop. 
Can't find it from 20 down to feet there. With radar and all kinds of this. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you back. Uh, call me Black Earl, but I'm getting a little ashy. Earl, I almost got I almost got you a Christmas present. <laughs> oh, fuck that, jeez. So, so you can hang uh, the, the pictures better. Is there, uh, uh, Anyone else see the new gadget on TV? Oh, is that the suction cup device? No, the thing where you don't even have to, like, hold the nail anymore. Ah, what? The super hammer. The super, the super hammer. hammer. It's going to get Earl the super hammer. I almost ordered it, too. Stop. Uh -huh. all, I guess you fill the, the handle of the super hammer with nails. Right. So now you don't even have to, like, you know, hold the nail and go bang, bang, How bang. What size nails? Uh, Little brads or what? Uh, relatively no, small ones, but uh, normal medium. Ones. It's actually called, remember, Sneaky, I had to write it down. It's yeah. the auto hammer. The auto, auto hammer. hammer. Yeah. And I was thinking, man, this would be perfect for Earl. It would cut his picture uh, hanging time in half. Down to a week. <laughs> in a case, I was hanging pictures back in the old days before we had the uh, super hammer. What you want on this wall? Back in the days when we had walls, now it's like a force field. Stuff just stick to it. I'm still trying to get a Black Rock Coalition show on here at WNW. Where are the white women at? <laughs> future Earl. Earl from the future. Earl from the future. Because someday... I've been here so long, let me tell you. Let me right. tell you about it. Right. Someday, Aunt and I will be gone. We, yeah. all, we already know that. But Earl will survive, and he'll be left behind to tell the stories. I remember back, I believe it was 19, 1998, back in 1900. I remember sitting there watching a girl shoot a, a egg, a hard-boiled egg out of her naughty parts. <laughs> I was right there in the studio. Let me tell you about it. Big tuft the white hair. <laughs> Big, like, pure white hair with a little white beard on there. Let me tell you about it. I dress all in black. Black girl. Mm -hmm. I remember the time the guards had a girl come in and uh, what they call it the coochie fireworks. She <laughs> shot a bottle rocket right out of her most uh, naughty part. <laughs> I'm still here. They got a flying W and a W van. Used to roll on the street. I used to crash it and get lost. Now let me tell you about it. They got a flying van. What's the matter, Earl? Here's Earl from the... Earl, look, we're meeting each other. You're Earl from the past, I'm Earl in the future. No, Earl from the present. Earl, no, to me, it's he, he's in the past. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like Black to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> that movie. I met myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the Under the Sea dance. I'm going to play some Chuck Berry. <laughs> uh, Black to the Future. Earl from the present, yes. Do you have anything to say to Earl from uh, the future? Boy, you look terrible. <laughs> what you want on this flux capacitor? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Not. Brown, you're the whitest man i ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get back to the future unless we get 1.2 gigawatts of energy <laughs> into the flux capacitor. What? I said gigawatt. <laughs> oh, bill's broke. <laughs> that could be like... That's the that the future. This could be a classic. I remember a show about, what was that, 19, my, no, the year 2000. Beginning of the century, I remember the Voya bus. Everyone got arrested, and I got one of our high-powered black attorneys. <laughs> black girl for the future. Black girl for the future. The guy's untouchable, though. Yeah. Aunt and I have seen 50 people get fired since being here. That's right. Earl's been here for 12 years, so he must have seen... Two to three hundred people get fired. Now they nowadays in the future here at NAW you used to just get fired and walk out the door. Now they put you into the uh what the hell they call that thing, the, the dematerialization chamber. You walk in, they just spread your atoms all over the galaxy. <laughs> Too bad they didn't have that when Carol Miller was around. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Scott's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <laughs> I'm 98 years old, and Scottsdale's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Scottsdale. Okay, oh, yeah, come in. Dude, He's doing a three-minute show on the queue. It's taped two weeks in advance so he can nap. <laughs> Our first brand new, brand new character and bit of the of New Year here today, and everyone catching on. Andrew from Long Island. I learned that now you have to play uh, Huey Lewis in the news, Power of Love, whenever Black Girl from the Future appears. <laughs> black Girl from the Future. <laughs> Too much.
It's the old eight virus. 